this is the last side of the last tape on the study on divorce and remarriage. We've covered a lot of ground. I hope you give me the favor that I ask of you at the very beginning. Hear me patiently, as Paul said there in the book of Acts. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, hear me patiently. Don't get excited. Don't get in a hurry. Don't get mad. Let's take time and examine the facts. Not trying to be mean. I know some of the things I've said on here kind of jarred some of you, and I may have sounded too rough on them, and I, I don't mean to be hateful or anything like that. I guess that's the only way sometimes you can get people to think, and I guess sometimes my words were are sharp, but that's the way the Lord give it to me, and that's the way I give it to you. Now, in closing, we based our reasoning on four things. On the scripture, on common sense, on the testimony of church history, and the evidence of God's blessing, and power and presence of Holy Spirit on many, many of his servants in their second marriage. And I'm not trying to be smart, but I want to I want to just point out these things as we bring this study to a close. We started out with this, with a thesis, and we've maintained it throughout these studies that when a person is legally divorced, it was on scriptural ground, they are physically apart, they are single, they are not married, and when they do remarry, they have every right in the world to do it. No one has a right to forbid them. God Almighty didn't forbid them in the scripture, and they do not have two mates. And that's our position. You say, well, I, you mean to tell me you can just get divorced and get remarried? In? No, that's not, you didn't listen. You're still listening to them demons or something. I've said it probably 20 times on these tapes. I said, if a person is legally divorced, they are scripturally divorced. It was for fornication or malicious desertion. They are physically apart. They are free in the eyes of God Almighty. They are free in the eyes of the state. They are single. They are not married. It is the same in, in their situation as if their unfaithful mate had died and they have just as much right to remarry as any teenager in your church or my church that I, I belong to and they have a right to enter into that marriage with the blessings of God upon them and they would in fact be the husband of one wife or the wife of one husband when they do. That's our position. We're not for divorce. Uh, I couldn't tell you how terrible it is to go through a divorce. That's not the issue. I preach sermons on to married couples to stay together and work out, and I counsel with people all the time. The issue on these studies is, what do you do when it's over and it's gone and you couldn't help it and it's over with? What does God have to say to you then? And I've told you on these tapes. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And I'm, I'm, the only reason I'm doing this is to get you to think. And you preachers out there, I want, I want to make you a challenge and an offer. I'll, I'll give $1,000 cash. I'll send you a money order of $1,000 to any man that can show me one verse in the King James Bible that says a person who is divorced for fornication cannot remarry. You want to hear it again? $1,000 cash to any man that can show one Bible verse in a King James Bible that says a person who was divorced for fornication cannot remarry. Here's another one. $1,000 cash to any man, any woman, 
who will show one verse of Scripture in a King James Bible that says a person who was divorced for fornication and is remarried is living in adultery. You say over there in Romans 7, oh, you're wasting your time. Romans 7 don't say anything about a divorced person for fornication. A thousand dollars cash to anybody who can show us one verse of scripture that says a person who has been divorced for fornication and remarried is living in adultery. Number three, $1,000 cash to anyone who can give us one Bible verse in either Old Testament or New Testament in a King James Bible that teaches that fornication is premarital sex only. I'll say it again. $1,000 cash. And you could use a thousand bucks, couldn't you? I mean, some of you preachers that go around preaching this so hard at all these meetings, where's the scripture? Let's hear it. I'll send you a thousand dollars if you'll show us one Bible verse that says that fornication is only premarital sex. Number four, one thousand dollars cash to any preacher, any teacher, any theologian, any professor, any doctor, any lawyer can give me one verse of scripture in a King James Bible that says that a man who's been divorced for fornication and remarried has two living wives. Now you ought to be able to come up with one verse that says that if you believe it and preach it hard as some of you fellas do. Now, you mean to tell me you believe something that you don't have one Bible verse to support? Now remember, the man who gets mad is the man that knows he's wrong. If you have the facts, you don't have to get mad. Truth stand on its own two feet. You say, well, preacher, ain't you scared to make all those like... No, I've read the Bible through. I've read the Bible through, I don't know how many times the Old Testament, probably close to 40 times in the New Testament, all the way through it. There are no verses that say those things. Show me one verse in the Bible that says a man who was divorced for fornication and then remarried to a Christian woman is not the husband of one wife. Show me one verse of scripture in the Bible that says a man who's been divorced can't preach. Show me one verse of scripture in the Bible that says a man who has been divorced for fornication and then remarried cannot be a preacher. Show me one. Show me one. I know what, I know what your problem is. A lot of you are scared to death of some of the preachers because you don't want word to get out on you that you believe what I've been saying on these tapes. You're scared to death because you know they'll take a fit. And it's, it's Phariseeism, brother. It's Phariseeism. In closing, let me make this statement. When a person is legally, physically, scripturally divorced, cut loose. They are single and free to remarry according to the Bible. They are single and free to remarry according to the dictionary. They are free and, and single according to the laws of the land. They are free, single, and eligible for remarriage according to common sense. They are not free to remarry according to the Catholic Church and some Baptist who follow the Catholic teaching. Now pray about that for a while. I said this, when a person is legally, physically, and scripturally divorced, they're single and free to remarry according to the Bible. They're single and free to remarry according to the dictionary. They're single and free to remarry according to the laws of the land. They're single and free to remarry according to common sense. They're not single and free to remarry according to the Catholic Church 
and some of the Baptists who follow the Catholic teaching. Now, you can put that in your pharisaical pipe and smoke it. And God bless you, I love you, and I'll fellowship with you, and we'll get down and pray all night if you want to and go win souls and never mention this issue. But I want to tell you something, friend. Proverbs 18, 13, we started out with, He that answereth the matter before he heareth it, it's folly and shame unto him. May God bless you and your work for him. This study came about after years of worrying, praying, meditating, asking preachers questions, asking people questions, fasting for many, many days. May God use it for his glory. May no one abuse it. And as the book of Romans said, yea, let God be true and every man a liar. This is Danny Castle saying, may the Lord bless you is my prayer. Anytime we can be of help to you, we'd be glad to. If you'd like extra copies of these tapes, if you'll write to the address on, on the tapes, we'd be glad to help you out with them. May God bless you in your work for him. And remember, you only got one life. It'll soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last.